Hello everyone, welcome back to the Trailblazer League Adventures. We just caught our 100th shark and we got 100 points for that since it was a hard task. I am so excited to work towards getting our 5th relic. It's a pretty good one and uh, yeah, we got a lot of tasks to do so let's get into it. Now that we actually have a little bit of money, we can do stuff with our player owned house. So let's go into building mode and let us make our workshop which is going to cost 10k. A little bit painful but then we are going to be able to make a crafting table which means we'll be able well, first off 10 points we can use these to make ourselves some clockwork mechanisms which means we can finally start birdhouse runs i should have had these going on like day one but i made a bit of a mistake choosing my second or my first area unlock after karamja but there we go we now have four clockworks which means we could finally finally do birdhouse runs while we're here in the base camp we can also fix up the bank chest for 3000 xp and an easy task now let's go ahead and do our first birdhouse run well not really do it set up our first birdhouse run and activate all of the what do you call these things the mushroom teleport things around the island i believe that's another task and there we go fully unlock the mycelium transportation system and since we have 83 woodcutting we can chop a solicet and get ourselves wow 1500 xp drop that's crazy i think there is a task for chopping a certain amount of solicet so i think i might as well go do that now made a quick detour to the tree gnome stronghold not only for an easy task but to buy the royal seed pod which will pretty much be our best banking tool for the rest of the league I have literally been here woodcutting for like nearly an hour. Look, we're 85 woodcutting. We're almost 86 woodcutting. And I have not gotten a Solicep cap, which is the requirement for the task. It's a 1 in 100. I don't know how I still haven't gotten this. This only should have taken me 150k XP, but uh, let's see how much woodcutting XP have we gained today. 640,000. So I'm a little dry. I'm a little bit dry. So I'm just going to give up on this task for now. We'll come back later and do it. I just... I just can't. Okay, time to check our first birdhouse. This is a willow birdhouse, by the way. Let's see how much XP we get from this. 6,700 XP and obviously a hunter level. That means this birdhouse run right here will get us, what is that, like nearly 26, 27,000 experience? All right, yeah, I figured out how I'm going to level hunter, you guys. This was a skill I was really not sure about, but I think I got it figured out. Hey, we just hit 1k total on this birdhouse run for another 50 points. Look at that, 1k total in 3 days. Not too bad in my opinion. Okay, I think I'm done with the Knight of Artie here. We've got 100k. I took a little break to try and get the Rogue's outfit to increase our GP per hour, but let me just say, that place... I don't, I don't remember how to do it perfectly, and then when I figured out how to do it perfectly, it was not working perfectly, let me tell you that much. But now with 80 thieving, we'll be able to pickpocket a hero get a jug of wine absolutely delicious i'm gonna chug that that's 100 points and then we can thieve from the gem stall whenever whenever it comes back i just hopped worlds and thieve from a gem stall for another hard task that's 200 points right there let's go and now i think it's time to go buy that dragon scimitar i cannot wait to put that bad boy on hello daga oh, i love your scimitar shop it's beautiful there goes all my cash it's gone. And guess what? We can't even use this thing yet. We need 20 more attack levels. You're probably looking at me like I'm a big idiot with a beautiful bot goatee, but that's okay because I have a plan. And here we are at the end of Waterfall Quest. Give me my XP video game. Thank you. 165,000 XP in attack and strength. All right, we have 56 strength and 57 attack now. It's that easy, gamers. Just, just do quests and get strong. About to get a task that is insane that I haven't gotten this task yet. Are you ready for this? Restore five prayer points at an altar. I never did that, but that's 10 free points, so I'll do it. Shout out to whoever this dummy thick dude was here that died so that I could stand here and shoot fireballs at this dog while it just looks at me. I appreciate you, man. All right, ma'am, I just saved your son and husband. Please give me 150,000 attack experience. Thank you very much. Now we can wield the dragon scimitar, which I conveniently forgot at the bank. Here we go, equip the dragon scimitar, there is 50 league points for that. Now we do have one problem, first off I really want to go get a dragon defender but we do not have a high enough attack and strength level, oh wait that was 100 points, sorry what was the 50 points for? Oh for equipping a dragon scimitar specifically, so we just got 150 points for equipping the dragon scimitar actually, which puts us at only 2700 until we get our next relic, very nice progress, but yeah we don't have a very good defense level. And I would like to get that up before I go hunt for the defender because we're going to get our butts whooped with five defense. So I have just the quest in mind. But first, I want to enchant this ruby amulet to make an amulet of strength. That's 10 strength bonus. Two and a half max hits. Thank you very much. So this is really the first time we've actually gotten to test out our melee relic. Let's pot up and do this. Look at this. 
<laughs> so sick. Also, in case you didn't know, if you uh, just like kind of walk away the tick after you hit this uh, Black Knight Titan, it won't be able to hit you ever. Look at this. This is disgusting. I cannot wait to get into bossing and do theater of blood with this attack speed. It's going to be so fun. And here it is. Holy Grail has done 183,000 defense XP and 130,000 prayer XP. That puts us at 53 prayer and 55 defense. So we can now finally equip our best in slot armor. Oh yeah, we're looking great. Also, let's activate protect from melee for another task. And yeah, I think we're beefy, you guys. I think we are beefy and ready to do some fighting. So we need to get to 65 attack and 65 strength if we want to enter the Warriors Guild. And I figure, I guess we could level up our Slayer a little bit while we're training. So you might remember that we got that relic where we get to choose our Slayer task. So there's a lot of these that are tempting, but I'm actually going to go with Moss Giants. Firstly, because they're right there. Uh, choose Moss Giants, you don't have enough. Yes, don't warn me. That's fine. I can kill Moss Giants. First off, because they're right here and I can jump right into killing them. But second off, they have the drop of Mossy Key. I don't remember how rare they are for Moss Giants outside of the Wilderness, but it shouldn't take us that long to get it. And, um, we will get some XP. Look at the XP drops. This is so stupid. Are you... I'm gonna have so much fun doing bossing. That is... <laughs> that might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And we got an insult giant head, which, in case you don't know, is completely useless on the league since you cannot get to Zaya. Oh, yes, would you look at that? We got a mossy key. Also, we got a uh, black square shield. So if you look at that, it's lining up perfectly with my black armor fashion scape. Let's pick this up before it despawns. Uh, the reason I wanted to get a mossy key is because there is a task for killing Bryophyta. So after we are done with this Slayer task, we're going to get a Slayer task of Hill Giants, and hopefully we can get a Giant Key so that we can go fight Obor, because that's another 50 points, and that's super easy 100 points. The bosses are insanely easy. I think we could take them down. Okay, can I show you guys something? We're literally getting 200,000 Slayer XP per hour on Moss Giants with this gear. I love this league so much. Okay, but seriously, uh, I don't remember what Slayer level we were at the start of that task. I guess I could scroll up here and find our first Slayer level. We were 23 Slayer when we started that, and now we're 38. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh shoot, would you look at that? We just got a long bone, you guys. That, it doesn't seem like much, but this thing gives a significant amount of construction XP when you turn it in in Dorgishkan. And we get to multiply that by 12, so I'm really curious to see how much construction XP we get when we turn this in. So we'll turn it in at some point. Uh, I just finished my hill giant task. No key, unfortunately, but I can run right back to Vanica and get another one. Do you see what I see? A body talisman! I know, your pr this probably looks like the stupidest drop ever, but I actually really need one so I can make a body tiara. So if I can get myself to 20 runecrafting, I think that's the level you need to enter the body altar, we can finish that easy clue step that we've had in the bank for a while. My god, there's so many people killing hill giants. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Actually, I think it's time. Let's go try and kill Bryophyta. I probably should have restored my prayer, but I'm pretty sure I'll be shredding through the boss so fast that it just legit will not matter. So let's go. I think it's protect from range that you put on while you're fighting this boss i can't remember it's got a big sword though so it might melee as well i don't know it really doesn't matter like it could max hit on me every single time and the fight would probably be over before it could kill me oh god i regret those words okay we did manage to kill it with 18 hp left let's see what our drop is on our first kill 100 cosmic runes yeah i don't think we're running out of cosmic runes for a while but i really really need to get out of here and get to a bank i might not make it honestly Hey, we got 10 points for earning some Slayer points. Vanica is giving 15, 15 points. Oh, that must be because of task milestones or something, right? Vanica definitely doesn't give 15 points per task, unless there's, like, some Slayer point boost in that relic that I don't know about. Oh, yes, there we go, the giant key. Oh, I'm so happy, because that's another free 50 points. In fact, let's just go straight in there and kill Obor while we're on Slayer task, because then we will get... Slayer XP for killing him as well, and this is like a super easy fight, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, and I get murked, these can be my famous last words. Yeah, I mean, I literally almost died. I almost died. He absolutely kicked my ass. Oh my god. Well, there we go. Defeat Obor. There's 50 points. Used all my food. I seriously thought I was gonna die. I did not know Obor was that hard. <laughs> hey, we just hit 75 combat, and that is a 50-point task. Very nice. I didn't want to grab another Slayer task. I figured I'll just finish up 65 attack here on the Moss Giants, since they're less crowded than the Hill Giants, and, you know, there's still, like, three other people here killing them. But trust me, the Hill Giants are way too packed. 
Here we go. Any second now. Boom. 65 attack. That means we can now access the Warrior's Guild and go grind for some defenders. I think I might as well just knock out the Dragon Defender now. And another great thing about grinding out the Dragon Defender right now is that Cyclops in the Warrior's Guild count as a Hill Giant task, which means this will be a great way to get some early uh, Slayer level. Since we're only 47 now, by the time we get the Defender, we should be pretty high Slayer, and we should be able to start grinding out some really good tasks. Hopefully some ones that make me some money, because I've already said it a million times. We're kind of poor. So we got a good amount of sapphires from that grind there, and now we can make ourselves a bunch of games necklaces so we can teleport to straight to Berthorp, and then we'll use the Crystal of Memories to teleport back to Vanica to get a new Hill Giants task. Now, I'm going to make sure Vanica is the only Slayer Master that can assign Hill Giants, because if someone else can give it, they'll probably give more. Oh look, entering the Warriors Guild is a 50 point task, and I'm not sure if there are any tasks having to do with defenders, but I sure hope there are. Okay, there we go. There's 600 Warriors Guild tokens. Also, I used black armor for this. You might be wondering where I got it from. Uh, you can get the black plate body from Horvik in Verok. He's just northeast of the center of the town. And the uh, helmet and plate legs you can get from the Champions Guild shop. So that's a really easy way to get armor to do this. And it never breaks since it is above the steel tier. Now, we do have a tiny bit of cash. I don't know how far this will get me. But I know this shop right here sells attack and strength potions, which have both just been bought out. Although I know certain shops regenerate their stock. That is not one of them. This absolute chat is just taking them all. And then you can buy some food in this shop, which is actually really good. I'm going to buy the potatoes with cheese and uh, maybe I'll hop around a little bit to buy some other stuff, but I definitely want to buy some attack and strength potions because those will help my grind a bit. So I'm not 100% sure if the drop rate modifier relic that we got or the passive relic that we got affects defenders, but I really hope it does since we only have 600 Warriors Guild tokens. Hopefully we can get really lucky with the defenders here and we can get down to the bottom floor, which will have much better drops on the Cyclops. That's kind of my plan is to get a little bit of money from killing those guys since they do have significantly better drops compared to these ones. Oh, wow, drink a strength potion was a task. Okay, well, I just got 10 points there. That's a easy game. Oh, finally, we got the bronze defender. Now that we finally have this one, we could stop using the shield and get some attack bonuses with this. And uh, yeah, we're also level 51 slayer already and 69 strength. So I have a feeling by the time we're done with this, we're going to be like level 70 slayer or something ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, you guys can tell me, are the, are the rune javelins on, they're on the cyclops drop table, right? That's not super rare rare drop table, is it? I mean, if it is, that's good, because it's humbled me. You know, the rune javelins humble me, but they bring me back down to earth and remind me, I'm just a man. Okay, we just got the iron defender at a much more reasonable rate than it took to get the bronze defender, so hopefully this means things are looking up. Hey, there's our first slayer task. What? Not really Slayer task. I mean, a task for the leagues from doing Slayer. Slay 250 creatures. And I imagine we're going to get a lot more while going for our defender. We got the Steel Defender. Look, we get a strength bonus now. Plus one. That is insane. Oh, yeah, look at that. Our 10th task is done, and we got 75 points. That's awesome. So we should be able to unlock... The bigger and badder here. Yep, we have exactly enough points to get this. So now we can get superior creatures once we actually start doing tasks that can get superiors. And I think... Oh, wait, there we go. We got a medium task for unlocking bigger and badder. I didn't realize that was a thing. There's 50 more points. And I think we're going to end up also unlocking hot stuff so that we can do Jad on task. The XP from that would be insane. And I do plan on going for a fire cape somewhat soon. I mean, it's a huge upgrade. But yeah, Slayer points are going to be so easy to get. And I'm never going to have to skip or block anything because I just choose my tasks. Oh, yes, we got the Black Defender, but we only have 90 tokens left, which means we cannot go back in. But this bad boy... Unfortunately, oh no, it does have two strength bonus now. Yeah, and a couple extra accuracy bonuses. That means killing the armor set will be a little bit faster, so that's good. Yes, 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 we're getting a little bit lucky now. Mithril Defender, let's go. Just two more to go, then we get to head into the basement, and that is where the dreams begin. Dude, we just hit 1250 total and got another medium task done. This combat training has brought our total level up so fast. Earlier today, I was checking out some other people, and I was like, damn, their total level is so high. I'm such a newbie booby. I suck at this game. And then now I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not that bad, all right? I'm not that bad. Oh, yes, we're a little bit dry on this, but now we have the Adamant Defender. Goodbye, Mithril Defender. Blue, pff, what a stupid color. Green is where it's at. Ah, uh, yes, the Rune Defender. It took 365 kills. Same amount of days in a year, except except this year. Is it a leap year? 
Is it a leap year? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the real world. I haven't left my room in 14 years. Nevertheless, we can finally head to the dark dungeon of my mom's basement and get ourselves a dragon defender. But hopefully not too quickly because I really, really want to get some of the good drops that these Cyclops have down here. They have a way better drop table than those newbie ones up there. And they even had some rune stuff on there. So we might get some armor upgrades because our gear's not looking amazing. What I tell you guys, Rune Med Helm. There we go. That's a nice upgrade from the Addy Full Helm we've been using. At least I think it's an upgrade. Uh, barely, but it's something. Okay, we just got an Adamant dra Dagger Drop, which is huge because I don't think we've ever... Yeah, we never equipped an Adamant Weapon. There's 50 more points. We're rolling in points. Okay, wait. The Med Helm has turned into a Full Helm. We are making gains beyond proportions ever known to mankind. Well, it's not a Defender, but it is a hard clue, and I'd be... Very surprised if we could do this. Wow, King Percival, I just did the Holy Grail quest. So, once we're done with this trip at Cyclops, or if we get the Dragon Defender, I suppose we're going to head to the Fisher Realm and maybe finish a hard clue. Probably not. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, you saw it. You saw it. I literally clicked stopped recording right as I got the drop. Well, there's the Dragon Defender. <laughs> and we get a hard task. 100 points. Equip a Dragon Defender. I'm going to finish this Hill Giants task here, though, because we still have 42 left to kill. And I'll be damned if I'm going to go kill those baby Hill Giants. One, because they're so packed. And two, because the drops here are actually pretty good. Look at that and uh, Dragon Defender with black plate legs and plate body. I love this game. Normally on my hardcore, I don't do wildy steps because I'm a big wussy, but this account doesn't do wildy steps because I, I literally can't, so. There goes that hard clue. Honestly, it's going to be ages before we can complete one of these. They have so many steps in the wilderness. God, it took me a while to find a butterfly, but that's 50 points for catching a butterfly? And there you go, I'm going to let it back into the wild because I'm a sweetheart. This one actually took a while to find, too. I had no idea where the Crimson Swifts were. But look, there's two easy tasks. Snare a bird and catch a Crimson Swift. So if you're going to snare one bird, snare this bird. So I head to the gem mine in Shiloh Village and mined a good amount of gems and cut them here. Since they're actually worth more if you cut them in his shop. So as you can see here, you can sell them for trading sticks. I don't know how big the fall off is. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Uh, okay, wow, the fall off is really nice. So we should be able to just sell... A couple of these, and we need 570 trading sticks. There we go, we got 570, and then if we buy a full tribal outfit here... Wait, what? Wait, what? How much... What? I thought these were so much cheap. Did I buy the expensive ones or something? Are they different... Am I... Is the wiki wrong? The wiki's not wrong. I was reading the price that they buy it back from you at. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, as long as my math isn't really messed up again, this should actually be enough to get all of these. Please, God. All right, let's put on this beautiful outfit. And there is 50 points, and we look amazing. Also, I forgot, but I'm pretty sure if you go through here and into the hardwood grove, yep, that's another medium task out the way. And now I can chop down a couple teak logs. No, I can't. I can't chop down a couple teak logs. But if I could have, I would have, because then I can do three ticking, but I can't. Came here to kill some blue dragons, and now this baby blue dragon for 55 magic, which means we can now cast high alchemy and alk all that good stuff that we got from our dragon defender adventure. So we're going to head back to the bank after we gather these baby dragon bones, and then we're going to alk some stuff and see what kind of cash we've got at the moment. Look at all this junk we have to alk. Let's start with the good stuff. Yes, yes, cast high alchemy on it, and we get a medium task done for casting high alchemy. And look at that GP. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. I really need to change my item price warnings. But yeah, we should end up with around 70,000-ish gold, maybe even more if my estimations are a bit off. And with that, we're actually going to be able to buy some decent stuff. I'm not 100% sure which things I want to buy first, but I'm just happy I can high alk now. Actually, we ended up with 115,000 GP, not too shabby at all. So we've got a good base of cash. There's just so many things that I want to spend this on that it's going to be, it's really going to be hard to decide what. Well, the first things I want to buy is a couple ranged upgrades. These are super cheap. I'm considering buying some rune armor, but it's just so overpriced. I think I'd rather get it as drops. All right, Ozaiac, sell us the green dehyde body. It's 10,000 gold, such a ripoff. But if we throw it on, we get a medium task done. Plus, we got some decent ranged gear now. It's not amazing, but it's decent. Just grab these monk robes up here because I have a thought. Uh, the thought wasn't good enough. I was thinking maybe we could get a high enough prayer bonus for a task, but I think you need 15. We're really close, so if we just get a couple more prayer bonus boosting items, we'll be able to nab that. So I've pretty much just entered random task mode, and there is 60 fire making, which means you can finally start burning these U logs, which I cut specifically for the task of burning 100 of them. Look at this, I'm helping Frick Dan. 
uh, do his cooking. You're welcome. And honestly, yeah, I don't like Dan either. That guy sucks. And there is the task, burn 100 U logs. I also may have gone ahead and burned a lot of the willow logs I had so that we could also hit 75. So we can also burn some magic logs for another 100 points. There's 200 points out of the way. I really never want to train Firemaker again, but we've still got a solid 12 million XP to get before 99. Oh boy. Went ahead and cooked all the food we had in the bank, and there's 79 cooking as well. Let's see how much XP per hour we're getting. Not just about 14 million XP per hour, not too crazy. So I think I'm going to end this video off here. We made some great progress. Dragon Defender, our gear's looking pretty decent. I really need to get some actual rune armor, but I think I'm going to go for that through drops, because now that our Slayer's 67, we can actually kill a good bit of good Slayer creatures, like not crappy ones. We can kill Bloodvelds. Our superior chance is 1 in 25. Once we unlock Mauritania, we can kill Cave Horrors to get a Black Mask. We can kill Aberrant Spectres for herbs and for seeds. I might actually do that quite a bit in the coming days so that we can grind out some herbalor stuff. So our herbalor is looking kind of pathetic, but nevertheless, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like, you know, all that garbage that YouTubers beg for. I'm guilty of it too, though. I'm not calling anybody out. Anyways, I love you guys so much and appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.